Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I am so excited today because we're heading off to one of the coolest frog collections in the world and a bunch of other cool lizards, too. Josh's frogs. That's right. We're heading over there, and we are going to have a great day. Cannot wait to get over there. I have been pumped for this trip for the last four or five days. So what do you say we just wrap things up here at the Reptarium and get on the road? About a half an hour away from Josh's Frogs. I am totally pumped. I've got Robin here, Jay in the back, got Jessica back there, and uh, we are gonna see some absolutely amazing animals. I am just excited to see what they have going on. It's always expanding at Josh's Frogs. Where every time I come here, it seems like they have a whole new place, so it's gonna be pretty cool to see what they're up to. We made it to Owasso, Michigan to Josh's Frogs. And ironically enough, I am in the day gecko room. We're gonna see some day geckos, we're gonna see some frogs, we're gonna see all kinds of cool stuff. And again, like I mentioned, every time I come, it's completely different. Like this room didn't even exist the last time I was here. And look at all of these geckos. We have neon geckos, we have electric blues, we have giant days with standings geckos. And oh my God, this place is so awesome. We're gonna have a great day today. I am just super excited. You guys remember Zach, of course, he's been in the vlog before. He He's, uh, I like to call him the face of Josh's frogs because Josh doesn't like to be on film. So you get that, you know, you're, you know, you can I take that one. Yeah, exactly. So what's been happening here, man? A lot of stuff has been happening. Um, we actually just closed earlier this week on our building. So we own this gorgeous 37,000 square foot building from the 1800s. Oh my gosh. And we filled it full of um, new employees, new products, and new frogs. It's, been, um, it's crazy, dude. I'm, I was here yeah. like seven, eight months ago. I think you have like twice the amount of stuff that you did before. Yeah, uh, we've had a very successful year. Um, several years of prep went in there and I have an amazingly talented team of animals up to 20 employees now. Wow. Um, we're producing a lot of really cool species really consistently. A lot of them are not doing so great in the wild, um, but we're able to produce some here in captivity and you know help fuel that demand for the pet trade without any impact on wild population. It's, so. it's crazy. I mean, I saw the tadpole room. I mean, how, do you have any idea how many tadpoles you have right now? Um, just in dart frogs, you're talking about four to five thousand. Um, one clutch of white street frogs alone was over three thousand. So there is, you know, no exaggeration, probably north of like between 30 and 50,000 tadpoles in that room right now. 30 and 50,000 tadpoles, that's insane. And uh, I love the systems, I love the way they're taken care of. I, I am taking a lot out of this, guys, I'll be honest with you. This has been probably the most inspirational trip that I've ever had to Josh's Frog. So uh, let's go see what else this place has to offer. We're actually in like the plant nursery section. We're gonna pick up some bromeliads and some java moss for the dart frogs and a few exhibits at the zoo anyways. But uh, you know the thing that's so incredible is how diverse it is, how many categories they're in, from plants to frogs to lizards to all kinds of different stuff. It's really inspiring and it's cool because Josh just started as a hobbyist just like anyone else and it's just exploded into this <laughs> insane industry. Every time I come it's amazing how much they've grown. Literally we were just here six or seven months ago and it seems like it's twice the size of it was last time. But even something like the plants are just cool to check out. The one crazy thing about this place is it's like a maze. I mean, uh, I lost the group, so I'm trying to find everyone, and I have no idea. I mean, there's like three floors, maybe even four floors. There's rooms everywhere. There's there's hallways. I am literally lost in Josh's Frogs. As I'm trying to find my group, I uh, came across this bearded dragon, and holy moly, this thing is absolutely huge. So I got distracted. I figured I'd show you guys really quick. I wonder what's up here. It says the jungle. <coughs> this is the plant section. Nope, he's not up here. All right, so weirdly enough, I still can't find anybody, but I'm trying my best, but this actually is a building that used to be called the Owasso Casket Company. So it was like the biggest funeral casket company in the world. And I think there's even rumor that like a handful of presidents had their caskets made here. My point is, is now that I'm in a frog room all alone, or no, this is actually the gecko room. This is the first gecko room. Well, so apparently this place is like super haunted. So I'm wandering on the halls of uh, this huge place, all, used to be a casket place, and I'm all alone trying to find anybody because now I'm just, now I have no idea what's going on, but having a good time. Just like any larger collection of animals, it's really important to have a great system in order to care for the animals, to keep the food, the water completely clean. And Josh's Frogs is definitely masterfully working the system of taking care of animals.
I was also super excited to meet up with my friend Chad Brown who came in to tour Josh's frogs as well. All right, last time I hooked up with Brian, we were at Prehistoric Pets out in California. Giant retics, about as big as a snake can get. Now we're at Josh's frogs, about as small as things get in the hobby. But this frog here, this Malaysian leaf frog female, is about as big as a frog can get. Beautiful, beautiful frogs. Females are super rare in the hobby. They've actually produced a couple of clutches here at Josh's Frogs. This is just part of the frog madness that we'll see here at Josh's Frogs. From big frogs like this one to tiny little dart frogs. <laughs> I've been so excited know, to see so these little like, things. I know that's kind of hard to see. Like, there's a tiny gecko surrounded. on my hand. It is a electric blue day gecko or a Lygodactylus <laughs> Williams eye. We're going to make sure that that doesn't Oh my god, it's so tiny. Like, I can't even believe this is a real thing. So they don't stay that small. They get about this big and they're like bright blue. But I've been so excited to see one of these in person. And guess what? I finally found Zach. And it's cool because we were sitting in front of a door that I wanted to talk to him about. Of course, keep out quarantine. Zach, one of the things I've really been trying to think about is how we can do better with quarantine. Because oftentimes with us, we're just like quarantine a rack on that side of the room. Yeah. We need a room like this. So tell me what your process is here. Um, so here it's primarily aimed at amphibians. So we're not addressing um, things like snake mites and stuff like that. You know, we don't work with snakes here. Um, so we're worried about chytrid, um, a fungal infection, ronavirus, a viral infection. Main modes of transport with those is contact. So all new animals that come into Josh's frogs go into here. Um, good example, any of our future breeders or wild costs we bring in for new projects to produce a lot of healthy captive bred animals. Come in here, they hang out for three months. Um, they receive veterinary care. We also do PCR testing. So we actually swab them, send it to a lab in Texas and they check to see if um, the, any DNA is present that would um, indicate the uh, presence of chytrid or ronavirus. So we can treat accordingly. Those are huge diseases that are really detrimental to um, amphibian populations worldwide. And the last thing we want to do is be part of the problem. This is the last stop for the employees that work in the quarantine room. They do all of their job all throughout the animal area for their first part of the day. And then right before they go home, they come in here, they do what needs to be done, and they wash up and directly leave the building. So there's no chance of cross-contamination to any of our other animals. Um, you know, this is one of um, the first one of many um, quarantine rooms. Just to make sure what we're selling out and then also what we're bringing in and everything is, you know, treated well, um, it's healthy, uh, we can acclimate it and then get it breeding to produce more frogs for you guys. That is awesome. I tell you what, I'm definitely, again, taking a lot of inspiration from this visit to Josh's Frogs. up with Jake here. You actually have been working here for a little bit, right? Oh yeah, I've worked here for three whole days, so I'm kind, uh, so of, he's, kind of the man around he's here. Pretty, he's pretty, uh, he's charged. pretty seasoned here, right? But actually, he has a really cool YouTube channel. I want to put a link in the description. Go show him some love. You'll probably see some stuff here at Josh's Frogs on your channel, right? Yeah. All right, so what's up with this? I mean, there are a gazillion tadpoles in here. Do you ever work in here? Or? Yeah, this is mainly what I've been doing so far. Gosh, that's crazy. So tell me, is there some system here? Or is it just... Yeah, so the oldest tadpoles are on this side, okay. and then it goes oldest the youngest and then they get pulled if they're morphing and cleaned and fed gosh and then, and then all these guys are all uh, tree frog and toads okay got and it. they can be kept communally where the dart frogs will eat each other exactly well that's awesome well again I'm gonna be paying attention to Jake here because you guys uh, can see what's going on at Josh's frogs when I'm not here and I love this place we're in the tadpole room and Jessica I mean what do you think this is pretty crazy right it's I mean the whole thing in here oh my god so have you taken any kind of ideas? I mean, I know we talked about the leopard geckos a little bit. I'm gonna give a little try on something like that, but what else are you taking from this? Well, I mean, taking care of frogs is obviously a lot different than it would be taking care of geckos. So we don't have to deal with all this water stuff, which is nice. Um, but when we were looking at their geckos, I have quite a few ideas to implement that it might keep things a little cleaner. Just because when we use paper towel, it's pretty much instantly dirty because if an animal tumps the water or poops, it, the cage just needs to be recleaned. So it's a lot of maintenance. We need to figure something else out. The way they have their stuff set up here is amazing. It looks so clean. And I really wanna try and like implement more of that 
You guys know that I've been pretty vocal about wanting to change my setup to a little bit more naturalistic setup. Well, I tell you what, the way they keep their leopard geckos is kind of exactly what I'm thinking, where you can still keep them in a rack system, but look at they have some really great substrate. They've got the natural cork bark. They've got, you know, obviously some vermiculite. They've got their food dish here. So this is kind of what I was thinking. Again, I love coming to places like this because it gives me lots of ideas. And although we may do things a little bit different, this is at least the kind of jumping off point of how I could eventually keep leopard geckos where I think I'd feel just a little bit better about it. Every reptile person knows about leopard geckos, but I don't think everyone knows about these Chinese cave geckos. About the same size, nice docile temperament, but a beautiful pattern. And they've got these red eyes that in my opinion are the most beautiful in all the gecko world. Chinese cave geckos, same type of husbandry, a little bit more humid, a little bit different prey, but again, a great small gecko, about as beautiful as it gets, and the red eyes, undefeated. Well, there it is, guys. What an awesome time. I mean, crazy cool here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Put all the links in the description to everyone's stuff, Josh's frogs, everything like that. Show them some love. Uh, I tell you what, let me know in the comments what your favorite animals were or what you think. I mean, isn't this place cool? As for now, you guys have an amazing day. I love you guys so much. Be kind to someone. Promise, I'll see you tomorrow.